Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Markets Tomorrow. This is a daily stock market technical analysis show where we look at what happened in the market today and then look forward to have a better plan, better trading plan for the next day. So this is for October 12th, Wednesday to tomorrow 2022. So we had a losing day, a wide range bearish candle on the Nifty. What exactly happened? Let's open the charts and see. We would uh, like to go to the Nifty first and look at this candle. Wine range bearish candle. It gives them hope for the bulls when it um, moved down the previous days close. Then walk out and fell back. Bank Nifty seems to have not lost too much, although it's nearly 1% is lost. Right? It is still an inside bar and uh, did not manage to uh, even attempt to go up above the previous candles close right so that's it so weekly this is what we are talking about the this line from the bottom this trend line is coming from the covered low and it's falling back to that line and therefore this zone of 16650 500 750 the zone is very crucial to maintain it if that breaches solid then we would have solid fall to make a new swing low most likely same with bank tails this is a weekly forget about the resistance the upside and moving about that that's when we turn bullish right now the question is are you going to fall down this trend line channel first and then make a new swing low if you hold on this trend line channel probably we may Hang on or consolidate and then manage to climb up. Otherwise, we are in deep trouble. So, today, intraday price action, if you see, um, in the sense, uh, 5 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever you see, this is what happened. Bank right? Nifty was mostly trying to hold uh, a range bound move, but broke down after the 2 30. But if you was trending down from the beginning, but it fell even violently after the 230. That's the price action. Just trending down, bearish day, clear from the beginning, but not a gap down. Because the US market had moved down, then we reacted to that. No? So that's what really what happened. So then patterns are there. So the sad thing is that all the moving averages are lost. I mean, this is another view. Look at this. This is Nifty Daily Candles, and you can see that it's 100, 200. 20, 50, all moving areas are history gone. That confluence of all of these you know, was creating problems for the Nifty too. So there is severe resistance selling pressure. That's what it indicates. Bank Nifty has given up two resistances on the upside, but two supports on the two resistances, you know, uh, are still there. But you have 200 and 100 DMA, DEMA, exponential moving average. That is still mainly in the bank. So the bank Nifty seems to be, you know, a little more strong, a little more strong. So that's it. So price action is clearly indicating bearishness. Right. We had a bearish view also yesterday. So several days it's a view. And look at the levels 73.45 on the upside. First resistance previous high and 7500 after that resistance. Previous high on the Nifty 16650. The support in the gap zone side 16750. Below that is the previous low support. That's Nifty and those levels of. 16500 or 1650 is very crucial to be maintained in the coming days. This is expired on this Friday weekend, but will you tell us we are going to go down further and hit 16,000 and then further below 15. All that will, this week is going to be crucial that way. And if 39,200 is resistance on the gap upside, 39,750 is resistance after that. There is no rounding number, rounding number, there is a previous line. 38,518 is the pressing to missing low. That is about and 37,950 previously low after that. The Bollinger Bands are showing that there is a contraction, but it's turning into a bearish. Slow downside expansion is what is happening in bearish pairs. Both indices, that's me, sorry. Let's quickly uh, see the Bollinger Band then. You know, uh, that's what I was talking about, right? Slight expansion of downside has happened, which indicates we may be falling, but. Bank Nifty, this uh, slight expansion is um, also you can see that it has started, but not that evident. Right, so Bollinger Bands, so Bollinger Bands having a bearish bias, and then now 
How many indicators are also you no know, uh, the sign is you know, normal volition is there and it's falling for the down. So the momentum is dropping. Trend is clearly bearish. It is close to the bearishness, but not that great strength, but it's rising. Right? So trend is bearish, momentum is falling to sideways and dropping, falling. So that two indicates three, four all are in the BF side. Big suspect, be careful, 20.49, anything about 20, stay out of the trade if in the options. If you end your hair novice. Which is why short build up and long unwinding on bank. Long unwinding is bearish itself. So which is why is also showing bearish. So, PCR look at this 0.53 and 0.69 from one above is what yesterday we had on Nifty. Now it has come to half. So it's closer to the bearishness than the bullishness, right? Very close to the bearishness. 70,000 70,200 is what the level set for the next expiry weekly, October 13, 37,039. Wider range on bank nifty, October 30. If your option writers are seeing the support and the resistances, put writing for the supports and call writing for the resistances, right? 17,000, 37,000, Two days before, there's nothing to all sectors are falling down. There's one and a half percent to three percent of downfall already. And FMCG and reality has even fallen to the beers of a shorter momentum perspective. Lens has fallen, beers only in HDFC, which is another, all the, both the HFC twins have fallen to the beers on the short term. So, these are the heavy lifters and they are in trouble. Heavy is all the major heavyweights that we are talking about. That means HDFC, HDFC, uh, Bank, Lens, Infi, TCS, ICSC, Kodak, all are in red and all are in the sideways momentum. Right, and uh, yeah, so Lens and HDFC is in bearish momentum as well. So that's a trouble there. If I was selling continuously last two days, 2000 crores plus, but I, by day as a buying equal amount and then holding the market. But today's data must be the same. Face might also all big, but the data is not coming. Yes, it has come in. Big selling. So look at this 406, 4612 crores of selling, and day is good help with only 2400 buying. That's that's heavy selling, right? That's trouble, right? That's trouble. So affairs are back, and so the last three days, it's 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 an eight thousand crore pound, right? Just in the last three days. So that's a kind of uh, institutional part, special that you're seeing. Affairs uh, about uh, the eight days, domestic institutions are buying. That's why we are not falling big, and retailers are putting in money yesterday. Retail money is also flowing in the market, and that's why we are holding on. But how long would decoupling? would happen when the markets the other global markets are falling you never know no. crude oil uh, so it is uh, pulled back 22 percent with the morning share can we had seen that on weekly charts now it is uh, stop that a little bit there's some pullback has happened and it is dip below the 90. so that's uh, if it is shooting again to the top of the channel of uh, then we have trouble. Okay. That's some, some pullback has happened in the crude oil, cool off, but uh, not good. Look at the dollar index, it is still at the 112 with the bullish momentum. And USD and RUP is still at the weakest level of 82 plus. All time low levels of USD and R and dollar shooting up crude more of a rising mode although some pullback has happened so not good news from the global from the global commodities and uh, go look at this it's a flat some pullback has happened for that to keep the resistance zone and then you know falling back and trying to hold on the support zones gold and that's what god is saying trying to hold on the support zone manage to climb up over there with a decent up move three percent or something Right, so as US market is showing flat, US index is showing some flat, but remember that US had market is something that you have to closely watch. It is at a very crucial support zone, and any breach of from any breach from here would, if that is, you know, that's going to reflect, you know, that's going to reflect. Look at these features, look at the levels that we are. The daily charts will tell the story. Look at the weekly candles. So this is very crucial support zone that we are. So any move below the previous swing low which is 2715 below if it goes it does not have any supports until it hits the 25,000 
at least 6000 kind of level so that happens one day two day whatever if this support is gone then we have trouble this is a Dow Jones are able to get so keep a close watch on that the pre-market tomorrow after today's trading is always for better watch There's some major events this week so volatility of 20 plus is likely to continue because there is inflation WPA data in India is coming on Friday US CPA data is coming on Thursday is a Friday and then Wednesday also we have some Fed meetings uh, that is coming out so so a lot of volatile data is coming in so that could make the market move up and down like this about 20 levels so you gotta be cautious on that two short calls since the market is moving down and you know, and because the trend moment indicators are showing that it's downtrend TV's lab can give short swing opportunities Oracle financial services also could give short swing opportunities because the trend and moment indicators are saying that let's quickly look at the chart of these labs see it's a head and shoulder panel and it's almost breaking the moment it breaches this you have to enter otherwise you just ignore see the momentum moment was fall in the bear zones trend indicators also cost over the bear zones on the medium term and the daily chance of both Oracle financial so you know it could give if the market is crashing it could give uh, or if it is also head and shoulder breakdown it is actually almost breach but the moment you get a you know, confirmation of that you can enter right? because the moment is clearly down so it can give big charges towards the bottom 1500 kind of it can happen if there is a, a major crash happening these are the this would give is a very good uh, short, short swing or little long swing opportunity also uh, if you're keeping the tight shop loss at the neckline after confirmation of the breach because the momentum and the trend indicators on board medium term and short term are bearish that's the two topics for the tomorrow to uh, both on the short side and just to wrap up what we have discussed about market is falling into selling pressure and it's losing grip that's for sure because of boiling momentum bearish trend crossover downside Bollinger Band expansion price falling below the moving average supports negative open interest in PCR for fire selling heavily 4600 kind of selling crores in the cash market selling these are all in the favor of beer so view for tomorrow is moderate bearishness because markets are a very crucial point if there is a bounce of happen it is given up all the gains 6% up 6% down nearly so if it's falling and breaking that support zone where it is then we have trouble rupees about 22 it could further head up because still in the bullish momentum is what dollar index is showing it's rocketing which is about 20 stay away cautious volatility is likely to continue for the next several days or months or weeks is what the charts are saying so what out for the support resistance level 16650 in the short term 37000 in the short term would indicate that we are probably heading down for the Right. Anything above 7500 is coming, then we may be heading up. Anything above 40,000 would only mean any indication of now more. Until then, we'll have a sideways or a bearish crash. So, either consolidation sideways or you know, bearishness that extends is what will happen. So, play on the, the, on the other side. Stay out of the trading and options when the VIX is about 20, 20, 23, about kind of levels. Uh, unless you are, a, you know, very big capital and big expert right otherwise stay away always have heads if, if at all you have to trade you know, use heads portions and uh, don't take all natural risk because it can wipe out you from this game and uh, protect your capital if there are long term capital uh, long term investments then protect it with option strategies like cover coal and all that videos are available in the playlist that may be a moderate variations for next day if that helps you in some way to frame your view and your market plan for the next day, don't forget to the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share it to maximum. We have few subscriptions. Appreciate your help in this regard. Thanks a lot. Happy trading. Happy learning. Bye bye.